You've now returned to Quarators, the podcast where we curate Quora and we ask, what is Quora? And we're your hosts, and we're Alex and Jeremy. Yo, what's up, dog? What up, dog? <laughs> Her name is Catchphrase. What's Yo, up? Yo, what's up, dog? We were, we were really spitting when we came up with what's up, dog. <laughs> A lot of people call their fans like the name of the podcast, but we, we call them dogs. Yeah, they're, they're dirty dogs. <laughs> what's up to the dogs? They're asking the real questions. Questions. Where is my bone? <laughs> <laughs> stuff like that. That's a little yeah. dog joke. If you don't have a dog, you know, ask a friend. <laughs> but they're doing stuff like that. We have a great guest for you this week, all the way from New York City. The Big <laughs> Apple, one of the greats. Uh, returning to the mic and uh, ho- host of the Pod Dem America podcast, we have the one and only Jake Flores. Jake, welcome to the show. Returning to the show for the very first time. <laughs> for the very first time. <laughs> from all my dreams, baby. <laughs> What's up? Uh, What's up, dog? <laughs> <laughs> bark, bark. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's fun, though. I like it. Jake, you ever been on Quora.com? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I still kind of don't understand what's happening. I think you're going to love it. Which Be- of our various side projects are we doing today? <laughs> <laughs> the one where we read Quora. It's okay. just Quora. It's like Twitter, but it's Quora. Yeah, it's like worse than other websites. Uh-huh. It's Quora. It's on. I was thinking about this before uh, you guys came over, though, and I was making my little playlist alone on Quora for an hour, and I was just like, I'm having such a better time on here than I do <laughs> on any of the websites I go on unironically. Like, sure. I should just be on Quora more. What would you post, though? Like, you can't be a part of it. Like, you can only really, it only works if you're, like, looking at it behind the glass. Oh, I don't need to post. I just need to Quarate. <laughs> yeah. Creep on Quora. Yeah, I yeah. need to lurk. Learn how to raise my son. Stuff like that. <laughs> We're gonna get into that today. I want to be the first person like canceled on Quora. I, I don't, don't think, think you could do it. Oh, so the big thing we've discovered doing this show is Jordan Peterson is like from Quora. Yeah, That's, it like launched oh, his career. Yeah, he was like Quora famous, and then he wrote a book <laughs> from his Quora answers. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's so. Weird. It makes sense when you think about it because you're like. Most of the questions on Quora are either like, how do I clean my room? How do I get my wife to shut the fuck up? So yeah. like, And then there's somebody who's like, doctor here. And you're like, this person's a doctor? And th- that's who it is. It's Jordan Peterson. <laughs> He's like a master of doctor fairy. Doctor here. Please abuse your children more. <laughs> he is a master's in fairy tales or whatever. Yeah. Technically Dragons. is a professional. Um, okay. Well, Please take away your son's <laughs> Xbox. <laughs> No, you cannot shower with your stepsister. <laughs> He's crying to all of them. <laughs> it is the breach of love. <laughs> um, the chaos tells us we cannot swim with our clothes on. <laughs> I forgot all about swimming with the clothes on, and it's the dang summer right now. Is I'm that, one hot dog. My fucking audio keeps popping in and out. Jeremy, fix that. <laughs> have some professionalism so here. Out. Pull it in and you out. You just knocked mine out. Uh, <laughs> no, no, it's back. It's back. <laughs> I, dude, someone ask about swimming with your clothes on. Is a big cool. We it's found a community. out that it's a whole community of people <laughs> who are like, is it okay to swim with your clothes on? And then people are like, it's not only okay, it's encouraged. It's mandatory. Here's a photo of me, and he's like all wet. <laughs> <laughs> I just jumped at a lake. Mm. Yeah, it's, it was like most things on Quora, you like you'll find it and then you'll be like, this is kind of oh, weird. No. And then uh, you'll be like, oh, no, uh, because it's a fetish and it's really a fetish did. community. I tried yeah. to time that with and then you'll be like, but it's really I think it worked hard. pretty well. It's, it's, it's easier said than done. And you'll be like, let's uh, go. Pressing the sounds on a soundboard is so much harder I know. than anyone will ever know. People are always like, why is it so hard for Alex? I've had people write like, in like, just tell me where the buttons are. I'll do it. And it's yeah. like, they change. <laughs> the buttons change because there's too really, many sounds. You have to remember really all the colors job. and stuff too. Yeah. It's and some of, them, some of them are the same colors because there's four different boards here. And this is why it's not oh. Alex's fault if he ever like kills a kid or something. Yeah. It's a hard job. That's people what we don't respect. It. That's what we've learned from reading the police chorus. Um, <laughs> let's start with, okay. and this is a crazy idea, okay. but the core question segment? we asked at the end of the show our last time. Our sole segment? All right, so Jake, this is our only segment. At the end of the show, we um, 
we write a quora together. And mm-hmm. at the beginning of the next show, we read the one that we wrote and see what answers we got. Okay. Um, if you are a listener to the show, of course you know to use the words scrambled eggs in your answer, and that way we will know you are not a natural specimen of the website. Yeah. Uh, this week's question comes to you from Lawson Leong. He asks, if you're Latino, who is better than Goku? Please do not answer if you are not Latino. Now, <laughs> I personally, I cannot answer. <laughs> Alex was upset that we put this part in. I cannot answer. <laughs> Alex was like, but we can't say that. I, I mean, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to answer it. I did send the prompt. And so I don't know where to begin. I will say one of the answers from our listeners is, hi, not Latino. Already. So it's like, all right, we well, we can't rules. read that. Sorry. Yeah, uh, and then uh, one person, Ball Sagan, says Yami Yugi. He could mind crush Goku, then prison shank him once unconscious, or jam the Millennium Puzzle down his stupid throat. What? Also, Enrique Iglesias. <laughs> he could be your hero. Okay, this Uh-oh. person did not put scrambled eggs in there, no. but I refuse to believe Ball Sagan is a <laughs> natural Quora user. He's only answered He's one only question. He's only answered our question. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Ball Sagan is in on it. <laughs> Do we think it's one of our listeners? I don't know. It was before the episode came out. Yeah. For whatever that's worth. I don't know. Do you? Th- who is better than Goku to you, if you had to guess? Is this an open-ended, like, anyone, or is it a multiple choice? It's like- who, if you're Latino, who is better than Goku? <laughs> <laughs> and the qualifier to the question seemingly has nothing to do with the question? Yeah, well, it's targeted. It's, or is it like... We just want to know... Who is better than Goku we according to Latinos? Just Latinos. Is it according to Latinos, or is it if you are Latino and you happen upon a Goku who is better than him, specifically in the case, I is think, he racist in some way? Like, is, No, I think the question is, if you are Latino, you, <laughs> <laughs> who is better than Goku? Please don't answer if you're not Latino. I, I, I've... Do you think Ball Sagan is Latino? I didn't even consider that. I don't trust Ball Sagan at all. He broke the rules immediately. Mm. He does follow you. He follows you. Another There's no way I to be a listener. I refuse to believe. <laughs> he joined October 2017. That's true. He's had an account for a long time. Ball Sagan, please write it. Long time lurker here. Just <laughs> Yami Yugi. <laughs> and he would kill him with his puzzle. First of all, no, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. What do you even say? He doesn't have the pu- Oh, he does have the puzzle, right? He has the little uh, pyramid one. He's saying my character has a large necklace, so sure. he could choke Goku with that. And it's like, I guess if you hit it in food. <laughs> <laughs> but in Goku's any kind like of dog. square, f- <laughs> <laughs> eat your large uh, ball of dough, Goku, with a mysterious object. Inside. There's definitely no pills in there. <laughs> have you ever, do you have you seen the show uh, or the like the social media feed? Foo's Gone Wild. No. Oh, no. I think I followed that one a long time ago. I've dropped off the Foo's verse, though. It's <laughs> very good. And what they'll do is they'll just like have some guy who catches like video of some guy in the wild dancing and he'll look a little bit like like um, Rick James or something. <laughs> and it'll be like Ricardo James, yo, <laughs> they'll just make him a cholo. <laughs> so I'm assuming we we catch like footage of a guy doing karate and it's <laughs> gofu right? oh okay and he's got like the high socks and stuff yeah that was that would probably be even better than Goku. that seems <laughs> yeah. like it would be even yeah better that is than the Goku. question if you're latino at least <laughs> <laughs> that answer, <laughs> gofu latino. is far superior <laughs> <laughs> i think i unfollowed that account because it kept showing me like really intense fight videos at eight in the morning sure. and i was like i cannot keep this up <laughs> some of them but you're like it's not this is not okay for me to be watching right now some of the fight <laughs> channels are like here are two women fighting to the death do you think it's funny and it's like not really <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's like when they like on uh, America's Funniest Home Videos, sure. there would be like a, a video of someone trying to blow out their birthday candles and then the entire room lights on fire. <laughs> and then Bob Saget's like, well, that was wacky, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's wild how much a sound effect could do for a, for a video of someone dying. You know, like if you have a video of someone like driving off a cliff, you just add like a boing. <laughs> yeah. 
It's like immediately a little bit funny. Who's that? I love that guy. Now it's one of America's funniest home videos. That was GoFu. <laughs> <laughs> New sound effect from GoFu. I do have a Boeing here somewhere, but I have no uh, idea where uh, it is, yeah. and I'm afraid to find it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, let's start our first question. We've got some great questions for you today, questions. Jake. You're going to love them. What's our first uh, segment we're doing here? Okay, the we quiz got course. The quiz course, which now, is... I don't know if any if you guys have... Nope, not that one. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> it's the hardest job. <laughs> America's <laughs> finest. Before we started recording, I went out of my way to find the sound. Okay. It's the quiz course. This politics segment. Has Jake and Alex ever discussed politics on a podcast? This will be a first and an exclusive. Is that the question? <laughs> no. Oh. Uh, although someone did ask a question on Quora. Uh, they, they asked who would win in a fight between me and Jake. Uh, not me and Jake, me and Alex. Uh-huh. Was it and, Ball um, Sagan? It was Ball Sagan. <laughs> <laughs> first time uh, writer, long time listener. Uh, people really got into it. We can go into that another time or something. So I thought this was an interesting prompt and kind of a test for the This room. is actually an amazing question. Uh, really gives you... I So I've started finding questions just by putting in uh, suggestive keywords. And under Barack Obama, you get a lot of stuff. <laughs> this is really good. This is just an actually good question. This is a good question, and it's telling. And the question is, would you rather have white Barack Obama or black Donald Trump as president? <laughs> New character, Black Donald Trump. <laughs> We're not allowed to say what he's like, but and that's it. That's just that's what it is. Also, Barack Obama already half white, so there's a lot happening. <laughs> I don't. I like that. It's not like who would win in an election. It's like, who would you rather would, have? Do you like this? <laughs> I made you a drawing. It's white Barack Obama, Black Donald Trump. Also, like the idea that like if you made black. Uh, if you made Donald Trump black, like it wouldn't completely change his entire life. Like, <laughs> <laughs> considering he's like an insane racist. <laughs> it would make him more powerful than ever before. <laughs> I think that is the implication is like, sure. what's Donald Trump's one weakness? Being white. I guess the question is like, <laughs> is he is he is is he born black or is it like he wakes up one day and because of a spell? He has a Frieza style <laughs> transformation where he emerges he looks in the black. Mirror yeah. and he's like, oh no. <laughs> it's like a Jim Carrey movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. He still has the same personality from before. Sure. He's saying things like bigly, <laughs> etc. <cetera. laughs> he's got the same hair. Um, I would say I'd want them both to be president and just have them work it out. Oh. I would love to learn about black Donald Trump. I would love to go to that universe and just look at it. Do you know they used to have, this is a not fun uh, uh, derailing already, but <laughs> did you know they used to have, uh, when you like ran for president, you could just like take the other party's loser and be like, this is the vice president now? That was the, I thought that was just the original rule. Yeah. That was, was a, like it, until like, you know, the you were third like the president. Pre you were like the president's butler if you yeah. lost. <laughs> but it didn't work. <laughs> of course they it hated hated each would other. work. <laughs> like fucking John Adams and, and Jefferson that happened with. Why would, why would you like having a very angry, powerful politician <laughs> who is just like spurned and kept as your lackey improve <laughs> the workings of government? I think we should bring that back. Who do you think would be the vice president if they ran against each other and one of them lost? Oh, I guess you'd have to know who lost. Black Mike Pence. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably saying stuff like, oh, heck no. Because <laughs> he doesn't curse. He's Mormon. Right. Is he Mormon? Is he Mormon or is he no. just white like that? He's just white like that. Oh, okay. It's well, it Mormon. is confusing, isn't it? Romney's the Mormon one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I regret saying... Hey, Mike Pence, you are not Mormon. <laughs> <laughs> also, what is up, dog? <laughs> <laughs> I want to get that. To All right. Uh, top answer here. Yeah, uh, Obama! Ju <laughs> Julie Brand <laughs> says Obama. Two exclamation points. <laughs> Obama! <laughs> All of her answers are about Donald Trump. She seems to searches for Donald Trump and then just says like... She doesn't care if he's black. All the questions are like, do you think Donald Trump is good? And she's like, no! <laughs> she's answering Quora questions like it's the end of Akira, just screaming on a motorcycle. <laughs> 
Um, um, any important um, yes. analysis here? Uh, Angela Birch, who is a BA from Pepperdine University, graduated in 1974, says, I don't see why the color of someone's skin has any bearing on the issue. Finally. Yeah, Donald Trump do- it has nothing to do with race. <laughs> it's not what? about it's about being great. What the fuck um, are you doing on Quora if you think <laughs> like that? Uh, Barack Obama ran an honest, non-corrupt administration because of his character and intelligence, not a thing to do with his being black. Donald Trump ran one of the most corrupt administrations because of his lack of character and lack of intelligence. Not a thing to do with his pale skin. Well, I don't know about all that. You know, like, <laughs> I would rather have the honest, non-corrupt, intelligent president, no matter how light or dark his skin is. Obama. Angela Birch, you win the internet today, <laughs> good man. Oh, so it says, we did have an orange guy for a while. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I like this that. Is, <laughs> hey, it's not a political podcast, What if folks? Donald Trump was black <laughs> instead of... Orange. Oh, 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 oh. looks like pumpkin seasons changed. Mm. If you leave a pumpkin out, does it become black? Does it become like a brown rotted pumpkin? Um, if you left a pumpkin out for like eighteen months, would I, it be a black pumpkin? I Probably, yeah. Why, why not? Ask I don't the internet. Know. Ask Cora. Well, <laughs> we'll, we'll remember melt. that at the end of the show. Well, yeah. they do like really collapse in upon themselves. They lose structural integrity very that's quickly, true. and that's something that's I've noticed from issue. many Halloweens. Yeah. As my family was often loath to remove the pumpkin. <laughs> it's an extra chore to remove the pumpkin. What? Gotta get your candle out of there, though. Oh, you got That's gotta. still good. <laughs> All right. Candles for next year. We, we must end this pumpkin room. Okay, we have more politics questions. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I just like the person who was just like, Donald Trump, Barack Obama have nothing to do with race. <laughs> Obama! <laughs> I would uh, like to hang out with black Donald Trump. I think it would be interesting. That sounds like the most fun human alive. I agree. And I kind of think it would be funnier if he turns black. If he wakes <laughs> up one day and he's a black guy and he's just like, I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> he's the same, but he says for real more. That yeah, he's trying really hard to like get into it. <laughs> he's leaning in. <laughs> he's an ambitious young man. I was president. Now I say for real. <laughs> I can't do Donald Trump. Oh, oh it's, interesting. It's Jerry Seinfeld watching this. <laughs> That's fascinating. Uh, Black right. Jerry Seinfeld. You said. <laughs> wow, uh, what a cool character. And then it cuts, and, it, and we've all <laughs> and, changed. And there's no more. <laughs> Did they cut 30 minutes from the episode? (laughs) Um, Okay. Maureen says, uh, I would rather have Mickey Mouse as president instead of Trump. If he didn't want to run, then I would have President Obama as our leader. Mickey Mouse first. You would have Mickey Mouse first? (laughs) Yeah. First of all, Mickey Mouse is like a famously honest and like an integrous character. He has great integrity to him. He has great upstanding character, and I'd love for him to run the United States Uh, of America. I I thought when you said Mickey Mouse that he was going to be like, uh, she was going to be like, you know, Mickey Mouse, you know, obviously wouldn't be good, but I'd rather have Mickey Mouse (laughs) as our president. But if he doesn't want to go, I guess Obama. (laughs) (laughs) Run, Mickey, run. Mickey's got to run for president. We need a candidate with Steve. Steamboat experience. Yeah, we need we a need president who's going to run the country like a steamboat. <laughs> <laughs> it's a damn shame how we've changed the boat of our country. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Anything else over here? Let's go to our. I don't know. Um, I think it's getting too heated, Jeremy. I think we oh got to change boy. the question. It's too we heated. We can't talk politics. It's getting Black, too white, white, red, red time we green, blue, or zebra striped. I'd rather have an intelligent, educated, experienced, level headed, mature, thoughtful, empathetic, law abiding, honest, decisive, and downright cool president. Everyone on this is like 100 years old. <laughs> it rocks. That's it is old... like an older group of uh, people, for that, sure. The, I don't care if your purple thing is. Yeah. A very old person thing. I've never was that like in a song color. in 1978? I've heard so many people in like the boomer generation just say that off the cuff. It's like a like famous a, quote. Well, I they think. also always pick purple, which yeah, is like green what? or purple, right? That's what they say. What do they know that we don't? Well, I think, <laughs> <laughs> Where are people. these purple people? I think you can be kind of green. I think like you can you can you can be kind of green. I will not be elaborating <laughs> on this, but I think you. I think some people are green. <laughs> Look at open your eyes. I'm uh, uh, pointing at the camera. That wasn't, that wasn't thought, for anybody. So th- these okay. are the answers that need improvement, according to Quora. So one guy says, I would rather have black Barack Obama. Not one of the answers. <laughs> we are really getting into... That's uh, just weird to say, because he's already... <laughs> That's an odd way to address a black person that you know. It is Hello, a- black Carl. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, we are getting into the core of the website, which is people not <laughs> answering the question you asked. <laughs> this one says needs improvement, but he says white Obama. Well, like that's, that's the, the only question. good answer on here. Wow, not black Donald Trump not getting a lot of votes on Quora. I'm surprised. Um, all right, let's read another one. Quora has a big white Donald Trump area. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, this question is. Wouldn't atheism just increase the crime rate because of the lack of fear of hell? <laughs> I'm rubbing Jeremy's shoulder. <laughs> it scared him, but I did it anyway. I don't think it scared me. So wouldn't atheism... I think you jumped a little bit. <laughs> Baby, you know you jumped out your skin. <laughs> just from human touch. Now, wouldn't atheism just increase the crime rate because of because the lack no, of fear of yeah. hell? Yeah. What do you mean, uh-huh, wouldn't? Honey. Wouldn't atheism like, just increase the crime rate? Wouldn't atheism? Like, uh, does Latinos it do already answer. exist, though? Not Latinos. Well, I think the idea is like, well, if it, atheism you wanna, exists. <laughs> well, you want to believe in God for crime reasons, because if you don't, then everyone's going to commit crime. And so this is somebody who's like, I'm thinking about not believing in God, but I'm not sure I can, like... Sure stand by the crime rate that will cause. So this is the, so outside of old people this is the second demographic on Quora which is confused children. Uh-huh. This is free. this is a child I think who's just like can I be an atheist? I don't think I can. I could be an adult Christian. Yeah. Cuz sometimes they just get the internet kind of late. You know what I mean? Like it just dropped. Sure, yeah. They got an office job. Did you hear about like, this? Yeah, I guess I'll go on there. <laughs> Would Black Obama approve <laughs> my lack of faith? <laughs> what would Black Donald Trump think of this crime rate? <laughs> um, well, I would say that. Atheism. Yeah, I mean, yeah, atheism, it would. It would, yeah, inc- it would increase the crime rate. And, if atheism um, was real, it would increase the crime rate. <laughs> it, I think what Christians do think is that, like, the reason we have crime at all is yeah. from people who are, like, just ignoring God. Right. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, people think that. Also, just like, <laughs> there, there's people, I think, who are, like, the one thing holding me back from killing oh, everyone yeah. I know. The is most that I will people, get in trouble. The most yeah. religious people are like in jail usually. Yeah. And then they come out and they're like, I have a guy who keeps me from strangling again. Yeah, it's just like, it's just people who are just like, I don't want to go to permanent time out, <laughs> which will happen if I kill my wife. Even yeah. though it would be a lot of fun. It's very much, they're like telling on themselves. You yeah. know like when people do stand up and they do that no. thing where they're like, you know how we all want to <laughs> kill somebody? Yeah. And you're watching and you're like, <laughs> Uh, only of all of us, dude. I'm glad this person found Jesus. <laughs> um. Anyway, yeah, I think the answer is yes. Yeah, the answer is yes. That's if the one atheism, thing. Yes. Okay. So uh, uh, most of the answers here are just gonna be like, "How dare you ask this how question? Dare you?" Oh, Rust Cole gets a shout out in this from True Detective. Ooh, I love that guy. He shows up and he's like, "Oh, I got better drink a beer about this one." Yeah. Uh, here's a good answer. Fear of hell didn't stop Al Capone, Hitler, Torquemada, and other murderers. Who's Torquemada? Yeah, I like not know who that is. Some kind of That's just his homie. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Torquemada. <laughs> you a murderer. Right, Tomas de Torquemada. Torquemada. Oh, he's got a great... Oh, he's the main antagonist of the 2009 video game Assassin's Creed 2. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a real person. But he is a real person as well. But for some reason... Oh, so he killed a bunch of Jews in the um, Spanish Inquisition, it seems like. But, uh, yeah, I like that. The, Killing spree. The, for some reason, Google was like, you know, the guy from Assassin's Creed. <laughs> well, he did do that, though. You, you At did. least he was real. He's you in the gotta, movie. It's not like saying, like, the Arbiter or something. It's a, This was a, at some point <laughs> a murderer. Al Capone, Hitler, and the Arbiter. <laughs> was Al Capone a God-fearing man? I don't think so. That doesn't seem like it. I don't. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I, would, I would be pretty, uh, I would be surprised if he was big into religion. You know what? I don't know nearly enough about Al Capone. I'm going to sit my white ass down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, because he's Italian. 
Um, Who would you rather vote for president? <laughs> Black, Black Al Capone. Black Hitler or white Al Capone? <laughs> Jewish Al Capone. <laughs> Black Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is, that's maybe too far. <laughs> Black Trump funny. Black Hitler. Yeah. Needs Whoa. work. <laughs> Under answers that need improvement, we have Black Hitler. Um, <laughs> I don't want to hang out with Isn't that a Kanye him. song? Anyway. Folks. <laughs> uh, no. It's 2012. <laughs> Um, uh-huh, I am no more likely to commit crime than any religious cultist. Cool. <laughs> Atheists are a small oh, minority of the prison population. These are all just like pretty basic, like reddity answers. Atheists are a small minority of the. The prison. answer really is that all of these people have nothing tying them back from killing. Politics is just so divisive these days. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, I gotta just turn the TV off sometimes. I think that's all of our uh, politics questions for okay. today. Unless there's any, I want to see the answers that need improvement because those are always a little bit fun. <laughs> but um, I always is a delicate word. <laughs> always. <laughs> Um, this one has a uh, tongue sticking out emoji 15 times and then it just says moron. Come on. That's not how <laughs> That's we act. That's the best answer. That's not how we act here. Uh, it oh, hasn't stopped you. sacrilegious republiers yet. Oh. <laughs> I've never heard that before. It's um, it's not good. Yeah, it's a well, It's a bit of a mouthful. Because it doesn't make any sense. No. All okay. right. Let's, well, go to, let's go to Quinzel Town. Jake, we want to take you to Quinceltown, our oh. famous segment of who's in Hollywood's lights and uh, what they're up to. It's and Quora's biggest questions. These are the questions that are up in lights. They're under the Hollywood sign, and they're going to kind of tackle the celebrities of today. Jake, you're moving to Hollywood. You're going to need to know all these questions. I got to ask you before we get Please. into it, who's your favorite celebrity? Black Barack Obama. <laughs> Great answer again. Uh, okay, here's a question I think we can all answer. Why is it? <laughs> Say it. <laughs> Why is Ed Sheeran blind? Why Sorry. is Ed Sheeran blind? When I started blind? reading it, I thought it just says, is Ed Sheeran blind? But then I realized the why in front. Why is Ed Sheeran is blind? Ed blind? Why is the, all of these questions have like a premise attached <laughs> to them that isn't true. It's called world building. <laughs> Latinos. Why what? is that Sheeran blind? <laughs> Please, only Latinos. <laughs> um, Ed Sheeran, don't know a thing about the man. So I guess I will speculate as the reasons how one could become blind. Drinking paint? Sure. I know there's like the two things I know about Ed Sheeran is that he wrote this song, Shape of You. Mm. He's in Game of Thrones. He's in Game of Thrones? Yeah, yes. he was in a really bad episode of the yeah. end of last season because of Ario as a fan. Yeah. Oh. So they just threw him in there. He's like a, like one of the knights that just takes off his like helmet is Ed oh, Sheeran. Is it like, quickly, we need someone to sing a beautiful song? And yeah, he, he sings sing a song. Something. He's like yeah. a bard. He sings a song with Ario. That show fell the fuck off. Yeah, man. it gets pretty I don't know. Silly. I heard Ed Sheeran was in it. <laughs> they open a door and Ed Sheeran comes out. Everyone starts clapping. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's beautiful. Um, well, I guess if you have Mon, he should sing a song. Yeah. Otherwise, I heard that you because we did an episode about poppers on mm. our podcast last week. I was reading <laughs> about them, and apparently, if you do too many poppers, you can go blind. Sick. Oh, okay. So that is a real way Ed Sheeran could be blind. Yeah, maybe popped off too hard. He could have popped on too hard. Um, he all, all of my ideas about drinking the wrong thing, like sure, uh, paint, paint, uh, paint thinner, turpentine. Uh, if he you could have, have gone bathtub, like, gin, sure. He could I think have he gouged bath- his eyes out in some sort of like Greek myth way. Yeah, some oh yeah, some a, sort great of sorrow, a great sorrow, a great sorrow propelled him. Sex with his own mother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then he realized it. Yeah. Oh, and that guy I killed at the crossroads. Oh no, he <laughs> looked like an old version of me. <laughs> yeah, and then he, you know, he. That'd be kind of punk rock. He did that. It's like really he gross. Couched his own eyes out. Yeah, very punk eyes up. rock. Yeah. If, kind of punk if you're rock. listening, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> All the children who listen to Corators. We do not think it's cool. I think the average audience listener is older than I am. I bet if you listen, if you gouge your eyes out, you would listen to hella podcasts. Though. Yeah, oh, why not? for sure. You know? Yeah. 
Yeah, it would probably it'd be like TV to you at that point. Yeah, you'd probably have heard all of hardcore history because it's now Game of Thrones. For I, you. We're at we're just like we're discovering the idea of blind people, <laughs> <laughs> as if like gouging your eyes out makes you a different uh, kind of blind. Uh, <laughs> Why is everyone so mean to Ed Sheeran? I get like just regular general. He's like sure. a pop star stuff, but he's it's, like the new Bieber in that way. Well, but he's it's like people are very mean to him about the fact that he's a musician and yeah. he's ugly, which I think is unfair. Yeah. Because Thank it's you. It's fake that musicians are all hot. It's, they, it's Ed Sheeran, Susan Boyle. Those are the big two. He's not even <laughs> that ugly, is no. he? But there's that picture He's of normal him. looking. He's People always busted. get mad that like there's like a picture of him, I think with like Beyonce or something. And Beyonce's wearing like a whole like Lady Gaga style thing. Yeah. And Ed Sheeran's wearing like jeans and a t shirt. And people are like, This is what the patriarchy is. <laughs> and it's like, What? <laughs> I don't want to blame Ed Sheeran for that. I don't think just because he's ugly. He was in that movie yesterday. He's like a main character in that movie. Mm. The movie about the guy who invents the Beatles. Oh, he invents the Beatles? That one really pissed me off conceptually. Did you see it? No, I didn't I see it. Idea. It made me really mad. It's about a guy who wakes up in a world where the Beatles never exist. I saw this. Okay, so I was on a plane and I was watching the movie someone else was watching <laughs> in the row in front of me because sure. I was bored of my own movie. Yeah. And it was that, and He's I was like, what the fuck is I going on? I didn't understand. Now I get it. Yeah, it's just a guy who has heard the Beatles, and then he's in the world without yeah. the Beatles. And, and then like, he like plays some of the hits in like 2018. Doesn't People anybody like, want to hold my hand? And yeah. so he's like, whoa, 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 that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who Jude is, but here's $10 million. That was, I mean, that's the beginning of the turn of uh, what I was like. Boomers have made too many movies. They're just drunk <laughs> with power at this point. I want to make a movie where I wake up and I realize that I'm the only person who remembers Mark Marin's WTF podcast, <laughs> and I just re-record every episode. All right, guys, lock the gates this guy's on to something he knows what he's doing you re-record every episode for profit or because the world needs the world to be needs balanced. it the world yeah. needs they need to hear me Aaron. make up with louis ck <laughs> yeah talk about your divorce and play guitar <laughs> yeah that's gonna save a lot of men Anyway, I don't know why he's blind, but I'm okay. dying to find out. Emma that. says he is actually not blind. Huh. He tweeted, you know I'm actually meant to be wearing glasses. I'm blind as a bat. But I believe this is an exaggeration and not he's saying, wait, what? And not he's not saying he's actually blind. He's not saying that he communicates via echolocation. <laughs> and against uh, popular appearances, Ed Sheeran is not a bat. <laughs> <laughs> he is a human man. He is a human. This, I guess this must have been a big thing fi like five years ago because people... Uh, there's a bunch of questions about him being blind. <laughs> like a lot of people are asking about why he's blind. This is a blind. good answer from Pat Sh Shuez. He says, who knows? But his eyes are really, really weird. His eyes are weird. His <laughs> eyes are strange. And he might as well be a bat. Ooh, he looked like a Rick and Morty character. <laughs> um, he kind of does look like a Rick and Morty character. Huh. Their eyeballs don't match up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's kind of the first Pickle Rick style <laughs> musician, isn't he, in a way? You might say. Well, that's enough about Ed Sheeran. We okay. have a lot of celebrities to cover. It's not all Ed Sheeran all the time. This okay. is another good one. Similar question. Did Justin Bieber die? <laughs> uh, this is an accusation? I... Who killed Justin Bieber? I don't know. I don't think so. Well, he could have been replaced. A lot of people think that pop stars are replaced, which I always is like. that part of like a QAnon thing? Like, no, like, that's pre QAnon. That's pre. They just are like, oh, yeah. that's not really Samuel. L. That's Jackson. in like that's the <laughs> fun old uh, conspiracy theories before everything got so damn political. Before everything, for for white Barack Obama and black <laughs> Donald Trump, um, when you could just think that uh, who was it? Andrew W. K. There was were five replaced. Andrew W. K. Yeah. Yeah. I guess speaking of the Beatles, there's that whole thing of like, sure, Paul is dead. Paul is dead. And it was uh, the effort it would take to have killed Paul and replaced him seems yeah. like the payoff. And then there. they just like know. get too lazy to replace John Lennon. Also, all it's of like, his. Ah, whatever. <laughs> right. They keep dying after that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy We got to keep Paul around. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Um, 
I hope he's not dead. Although that being said, apparently I read recently that um, the government was keeping tabs on John Lennon, like for real. Yeah. But um, because he was like left wing, but yeah, then they realized songs it, could break they, through. They decided that he was too much of a druggie to like actually do anything, <laughs> and they're like, funny. whatever, who gives a shit. Well. That's very funny. The, the <laughs> Beatles documentary thing that's just three hours of them with footage from yeah. the 60s or whatever is very much a look into just like, this guy's high as hell all the time. <laughs> <laughs> His songs are all like made up words that's string together. And it's yeah. like, would you matingo with me tonight? And they're like, that's good. <laughs> You've that. done it again, John. <laughs> Thanks for showing up four hours late. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow you still make all the songs. <laughs> Um. Okay. Is uh, Justin Bieber dead? Is he dead? Now, please read the answer him. I've quoted okay. for you. Ashi says, "Uh, hell no." As I am okay. a believer, That's I love him saying. with all of my heart, uh-huh. and I know I mean we all know he didn't die. I don't want him to know believer does, but everyone has their time, and we all respect. That is due to the fact we where he is right now married to HB. He's been crying and arguments going <laughs> on and not nice HB. things as well. And we all know when Selena going to be back, he's going to go to her. So, LOL, we're going to a different side now. So Justin Bieber is not dead, He is people. not dead. That was One a sentence. lot of words. He is not dead. And that dead. was written by Black Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Ashy. Ashy. Shout out to Ashy. You're probably Studied. a child and we're all moving on. Yeah. I guess I shouldn't dox Ashy. I mean, it was four years ago. Maybe she's a beautiful woman now. <laughs> 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 uh, anyway, moving on. Uh, let's see what we got here. Were Tom Holland and Zendaya really caught kissing in public? This is from what two years think? ago. What do you think, Jake? They are now dating. What do you think, Jake? Were they really caught kissing in public? Uh, <laughs> Zendaya and Tom Holland. <laughs> do you think those two could never square off? They're dating now, right? Yeah, but were they ever caught kissing in public? <laughs> Who is Tom Holland? Spider-Man. <laughs> he's Spider-Man. He's okay. one of the Spider-Men. He's like the new he, Spider-Man. He's also the short uh, Uncharted guy, yeah. which is like if you watched, if you were playing Uncharted and you were like, this guy's too tall. He's a, <laughs> it's kind of a good out for that. But he has those great like small guy bodies where you get like kind of jacked and you look like you just built like a house. Well, he's a gymnast. It, it, it shows, Jeremy. He does his it own shows. stunts. I like Tom Holland. Wow. I like him, too. I like his girlfriend, Zendaya. <laughs> <laughs> I do like them both. On a bonus episode, we covered extensively how you to get a girl like Zendaya. Yeah. But, um, we didn't learn how, though. We, we didn't learn how, and we don't know if they've been caught kissing in public. I don't think they have. I, if I were them, I wouldn't kiss in public. No. It's too... Yeah, sell that shit. It's too gross. I, <laughs> they've kissed in public. They have not been caught. Yeah. They're still at large. <laughs> <laughs> There's wanted posters of them kissing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then the top comment is a picture of them. But if they're in a car, so is that like in public if they're Ooh, kissing in a, a car? That's a great question. Also, a terrible kiss. Tom Holland looks all confused. Don't judge their kiss. <laughs> they're in a car. Don't judge their kiss. It's awkward to kiss How in a car. dare you? This. <laughs> you have to be like Fonzie to kiss someone in a car. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Um, you have to be Henry Winkler. They're kissing in a movie. All That's the pictures are just are just them kissing in a car. That's also not in public. That's a camera that is yeah. going into someone's. That's pretty fucked up space. Um, is it? I it has been my perception that like that whole like era of celebrity is sure. like very much not into like being a sexy celebrity. Too. Gen Z, Gen Z, like is very much just like hey. I'm Spider Man, and then I uh, do my nine to five and go home. <laughs> like Jokic. I like, feel like, is Zendaya not like a classic celebrity? I feel like she is, no? She's a celebrity, but I think she like really keeps it clean. <laughs> she keeps it clean. This is my, <laughs> my perception of Zendaya. Tom Holland is just like a weird <laughs> <He's himbo. clean. laughs> We are three guys who are in the know, and I think Zendaya does it right. I'm going to go ahead and say Tom Holland's a himbo. Come on. You ever see the interview with him where Just he was like... Just because he's Spider-Man. He said that he wants to buy a building and be a landlord who's good. He's like, I want to be a good landlord. Yeah, I did see that. Sucks. It's a very funny thing to say. We're he like, could okay, be the Tom first Holland. one. We're all was, doubting him until he's really cool. I thought it was <laughs> sweet. Because he's just like kind of dumb. He's bringing you 
checks. He's like, every everyone's year. mad at these landlords. What he's, if I just be a good one? He's not. He's good enough to know that it's a bad thing to be. Yeah. dumb enough to think that you could just he's be like, a good. You could landlord. just like buy a building and make the rent really cheap. What if I just fix the pipes real good? <laughs> I said, "Have a nice day," and I just left you alone. He's looking yeah. At, he's looking at his landlord, thinking, "I could fix him." Do you think he has a landlord? No. Spider Man famously. He definitely does. owns because he is a Hollywood celebrity. What if you put in a service request to your landlord and then it, it was like, Can you fix him? And it's a picture of your landlord. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. And no one's a, tried that. A way to say, <laughs> Why don't you take some time to work on yourself? Wow. That's huge. Hollywood is so exciting. Starring <laughs> Zendaya <laughs> and okay. black Donald Trump. Dude, oh, no. three. The classic odd couple. <laughs> um, okay, let's go to Quora gone wild this is our animal segment hold on sorry there it is thank you now we gone can wild. Kind of put our minds in the right space now this one a long tiger it's not ha ha funny so much as ha ha i'm learning about wildlife <laughs> <laughs> and uh the question is if a bear hit a human head with its paw what would happen um, it would hurt. What do you think? It would explode. <laughs> it probably would explode. <laughs> so I read the question hoping it would be something like your head would pop off and you would die. But actually, sure. there's different kinds of bears. I was different say, bear solutions. Black bears are pretty chill. They're chill. But what would what would happen to a human head if a bear hit it with its paw? It would explode. Right. So needless to be said. That's what I, happened to John F. Kennedy. If you're watching the um, YouTube video, please pay attention to these bear claws because they look quite different sure. from one another. Yeah, these are not the bear claw. <laughs> Change directions. It bear. was a, there was a second bear. Yeah. Back into the left. Okay. Uh, let's see. It depended on the bear. Sun bear. You'd be in a lot. Of, what the fuck is a sun bear? I had not heard of a sun bear before. Is Can I go like water this? bear? Do I have permission? Wait. Would you you have permission to put sun bear into Quora? I had <laughs> not heard of a sun bear until sun yesterday. Bear. You heard of a sun bear yesterday? Yeah. This sun really bears weird. are in the news. So the sun it's bear. It's the same story. It's just like a, it looks like a black bear, but it's got like the Wu Tang logo on its chest. Oh. Huh. So Am it's for the children. That? No, it does, though. <laughs> okay. I don't know if this is just one specific sun bear, but it has like a Wu-Tang look. And, oh. Or, or um, it looks like bear. Nightwing. It's got like a necklace or a bib. <laughs> That's so cool, man. It looks like it's got a big chain on. The Grizza. Maybe it's just like a fucking, <laughs> uh, yeah. That's good. <laughs> Old dirty That's bear. content. I'm going through all of them in my head. <laughs> Old, to... dirty bear <laughs> Old dirty bear Old dirty bear Fun. <laughs> <laughs> so silly. <laughs> anyway, if a sun bear hit you, you'd die. No. <laughs> okay, no, it says I... uh, you'd be in a lot of pain. You'd, mo you'd more likely survive than die, but not without injuries. Black bear, most likely outcome, you'd be bleeding to death. Unless the animal happened to be a cub, you ain't coming out alive. Okay, grizzly can we bear. please, before we read all the grizzlies, so every, every one of these bears mm -hmm. has different claws. And I think looking at the pictures this man is posting, that uh, the sharper the claws, the worse you're doing, except sun bear's claws look a little bit sharper than the black bear's claws. Well, I think the thing about it is that... Um, the black bears just aren't that strong and aren't that violent. Like uh, grizzly bears are fucking jacked. Well, they're They'll just, just large. punch you in the face. <laughs> they're less jacked than they are. Just no, like dude, they really work out. <laughs> they go to the gym. <laughs> they're big, big bears, and they're even smaller than polar bears, who are the biggest sure. bear. Have you seen that Coca Cola? Uh, that picture of that zoo in China where there's like a bunch of photos, and someone's making the argument. I think that they have a bear that's actually just a guy in a bear suit <laughs> <laughs> uh, saying he's a bear. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I yeah. would I would go to a zoo for the first time in years to see just a guy in a bear suit <laughs> in a cage. <laughs> Zoos are conflicting because I want to see the animals, but then I feel really bad they're stuck in the zoo yeah. the whole time. That's why I'd feel better about it if it was a guy, because then it's yeah. just like watching an improv show. Like oh, I've yeah. seen that before. It is a human zoo. There's it's so many people piece. who trained in improv without jobs, and yeah. it's already yeah. a problem to keep the animals. Put in the them Why in the zoos. Give them animal training. Wow, you're a macaque. Two birds. two birds with one stone, which I probably shouldn't say about zoos, but what well, you get rid of the animals, they're free, yeah. and then you, Let you're us now employing throw stones yes. at the bird man, <laughs> or we'll raise charity money with it. If you like found like a shitty theater actor and told them like we'll pay you like you know x amount of money a day to pretend <sighs> to be a bear, you have they been get a so into it. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. They'd like research it. Mm. They could jack off in public. They'd go to parties. <laughs> be like, what do you do for a living? You're like, I'm a lynx. I'm the lynx. I'm the lynx at Ever the Ever heard of zoo. me? People love my belly. I jack off in the, <laughs> in the zoo. <laughs> the zoo is also mostly about jacking off. And everyone always acts so amazed by it. And it's like, of course the otter jacks off all day. It's <laughs> in a zoo. I saw an otter <laughs> suck his own dick one time in Sick, front of a bunch dude. of people. Yeah. It's pretty cool. They yeah, do it, but man. But that was just they a gay go guy. For it. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier said than done. Um, um, anyway, the okay, grizzly, grizzly bear. bear will kill you. It well, was nice he, knowing you, buddy. He says it was nice knowing you, buddy. What about, what about a cocaine bear? Oh, okay, but that's a grizzly bear. So it was just nice knowing you, buddy. Um, so I've wanted to put all these claws on our YouTube page, and now I have. Uh, let's see. It depends mm. what people, Sun bear, very nasty scratch. So this guy just does the same thing. Look at that big bear. fucking hand from the grizzly the bear. The thing is, men are so eager to bear splain to you. <laughs> it's true, they though. They cannot resist a prompt like this. Um, this is a moose. What the fuck? Why are you showing me a moose in this I bear this question? Is Quora, this is dude. pissing me off. Is there a question about the moose? No. No, this is the same right. bear question. Um, this is just a picture of like a fucking Russian guy who's befriended a bear. Right, so that's no good. All right, okay. move, move on to the next question. This is a picture of Jeremy Allen White. Um, from the bear. <laughs> the actor from the bear. Uh, we'll oh, the Sorry, yeah. bad joke. Oh. Hacky. Okay, on to Quarenting. Okay. Thank this, you, bear. This is our... Um, Thank you, dog. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Quarenting. <laughs> no, that's the... Tr- <laughs> <laughs> Quarenting. That's enough. Okay. All right, that's our parenting segment. Okay, that was the parents. That's enough. Sound. <laughs> it's the sound it's the parents the make. It's not a train. <laughs> children can't be trusted on the train. No. Yeah, As enough. a New Yorker, we all know how children act on the train. It's ha, so ha, true. Ha. They're a bit they're um, animals. They're, that would be under the freaking animals. That'd be under Corrigan Wild, how so the, how the questions about there. children on a train. That's one stretch we have not done on this show. <laughs> Answering the parenting sections under the animal <laughs> format. Okay. Uh, how do I bathe my 16-year-old son? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Assuming that there's nothing, like, wrong with their, yeah, your son, that he's not, like, you know, injured or there's something wrong with him. I think we have to assume he is injured. Do we? Yeah, but we have to assume do the person writing to? this is not just a pedophile, which is... <laughs> Probably what it is because it's Quora. There's no good answer to this because I feel like if we if we do it the pedophile route, people are gonna be like, "Well, what if he broke his legs?" Well, that's why we have to do it from the leg breaking one, yeah. and you need a sponge on a stick. That's really what it is, and you have to close <laughs> your eyes the whole time. You also, have to go like, like you have to put your hand in front of your eyes. What if my son broke his arms and legs at the sure. same time? Or he, you know what? Could you train your own 16 year old son to wash his body with his feet? He just um, breaks his arms. There's a question yeah, for you. Yeah, you could. Could you? Could you? How do you train, train your 16-year-old son to wash his entire body with All his right. feet? It's between Everyone this and the pumpkin this. one at the end. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it's with a stick. <laughs> That's how. Um, now, if we are reading the answers and they turn into love stories, let's... M- 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 shake our heads <laughs> sure this is a dangerous area to be on a quora because a lot of the questions on quora are just like what would happen if my stepsister wore no clothes yeah and you're like uh, don't talk to us if oh. i peed on my mother am i in trouble um there's a lot of bathing ones too i feel like it's a large portion of the website and so you have to go in with caution uh, there's something fucked up about like perverts who want to be writers too you know yeah. what i mean like the people who are like i want to jack off but i have to write it first like well they also this sounds like someone wants you to write yeah it, which is it extra sucks. creepy it's yeah. like baiting you into writing something for them to just jack watch off porn about. but on the other hand it is a community prompt which is very wholesome right. yeah, it's not pornators yeah no. pornators this is not pornators this That's is a different not show pornators yeah. That's what do we, the what do we got here? Yeah, you got to pay five dollars for poor. Renders. All right, let's see. Sarah Moore says, "Well, also, my love." Oh, this is behind Quora Plus, so this is probably someone saying you can't, you can't bathe them because I think that's it, illegal. It's Quora worth reiterating. Yeah. Jeremy did ask for listeners to send him porn videos. <laughs> I did not. With funny comments. That's not true. <laughs> he specifically requested. <laughs> Um, I can't read this whole one because it's locked behind a paywall. Okay, but it well, says, uh, "Well, my love, you don't if he is healthy." 
I enjoy helping people with anything that I can, as well as the other wonderful people who answer questions. My advice for the sake of getting an answer that may be hurtful, unintentional, just honest, let us know if he is incapacitated, injured, or disabled. My father was diagnosed with semantic dementia as his daughter and caregiver. His safety priority was... And then it fades out. And then there's a gun sound. So this person's like, don't do it. And Cora's like, you got to pay if you want to read that. <laughs> Let's get to the real answers here. Um... So yeah. a lot of people saying don't. Yeah. A lot of people saying don't bathe your 16-year-old son and just have a dirty 16-year-old son. But this person says that he was bathed by his mom when he was 15. So let's read that one. Oh, okay. Because this please. is real-world uh, experience. This is Joe by Daddy. Joe Daddy. He turned out normal. He's on the core. <laughs> He's on core. This everything. is from uh, Joe Peterson. Um, same as my mom did when I was 15. I got really sick, lasted for a couple of weeks, and I was very weak and had no energy. My mom had to bathe me a few times. Just fill the tub with plenty of warm water, help him get undressed, and walk him into the tub and let him sit down and lie back. Just wash him with a, wa a wash ru rag or something. <laughs> and yes, you're going to have to touch his genitals. Not a big deal. <laughs> Extra thick! All right, I feel like I just read porn, so... Uh, I'm gonna, it's not a big deal! Uh, I'm going to downvote that. Why are you downvoting it? You have to do that. Doesn't he have working arms? <laughs> You're judging, you're oh, judging him, and it's a judgment-free zone. <laughs> uh, so a lot of people saying don't. A lot the, of people the, saying the this it's is not like, a big deal. If we go to um, <laughs> Joe, oh Dan, no, <laughs> the, the answer it always comes down to if you go to their profile and see what else they're answering. <laughs> because if you go to Joe Daddy, guess what? What? <laughs> it's all pretty bad. Uh. <laughs> Uh, although he is anti-predator. Yeah. One, he, he did answer a question that says, how can I compare my dick to boys of the same age? And he wrote in all caps, warning, predator alerts. <laughs> he was just With announcing that he was symbol. entering the room. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Here I come. Uh, yeah, there are a lot about uh, about little dicks. Um. All right, I can't read this. We can't anymore. judge. We're not here to judge Joe Daddy. <laughs> I, can't, I can't read Joe Daddy. <laughs> That's not Daddy why we're anymore. here. Um, everyone else is just like, you shouldn't do that. As scientists, we must observe him. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, just tell him to take a shower. <laughs> why are you doing this? Noni. Okay. Noni. Uh, we got another good one after this. You got to pull this one up. Okay. This going to be good. Okay. Uh... How do I get my 15-year-old daughter to go to school? She refuses to get in the car to go to school. She said her eyelashes won't curl. She already has me wake her up three hours before school so she can do her makeup. She will scream. She will scream. How how much time do you spend bathing her? <laughs> <laughs> Too much, I guess, because she, yeah. will, she will scream if She's gonna she scream. goes to school. Um, you got to just take her to school, bud. <laughs> yeah, you, just get her in that car. Get yeah, her in the car. Just you, do it. Are you in charge? Aren't you the parent? Don't you just... <laughs> get the gun out. <laughs> but, put just it, put the gun on the table. Let her... Let her <laughs> you don't want to go to school and then you just drop the gun how do i bathe my 16 year old son show him that piece <laughs> get in the bathtub <laughs> i'm not gonna tell you twice it's, it's not weird time. <laughs> you dirty girl um yeah uh, she's yeah. taking too much time on her eyelashes and that is a real trouble for 15 year old why yeah, does she we've all been 15 year old girls before we've all been 15 year old girls before why does she get ready for three hours if she doesn't then want to go to school I don't get it. She just wants to sit around. With she her just wants to scream. Curled. She likes the screaming. <laughs> she wants. She's like a vampire. You have to invite her into school. I'm picturing mm. her like one of those old women who just like curls her lashes and watches Matlock for sure. eight hours. <laughs> don't make me go to school. I'll scream. I gotta look my best for Columbo. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. So don't make her go. So the question know. is how. And we said gun. Uh, for some reason, she will scream. <laughs> <laughs> she she will that, scream. It makes me feel like she's like a femme fatale and like a noir. Oh, You're no! Like, no! Oh, I'll scream. <laughs> Don't yeah. get near me. You have to slap her like an old Don't movie. make me go to math class. This is making me realize I'm missing a lot of sounds. Damn it, get a hold of yourself. Uh, <laughs> You've got algebra. <laughs> <laughs> it's 6 a.m. You only have two hours. The top answer is from an elementary school teacher, and she says, record her acting that way. Tell her you're going to phone to the school administration. <laughs> so immediately, he's just like, punish her. <laughs> uh, Film it. 
Oh, no. Light her ass good. up on TikTok. No, we can't do that one. That's in trouble. We're we got in trouble for that, that one. one. <laughs> that uh, one's over. That one's got to be replaced. It's a good song. It's a good song, but it, we get in trouble for it. We get in trouble. They will for come it. after your ass. Yeah. Then they'll do an episode of Serial about you. And yeah, exactly. You. And they'll do a whole thing about how we're guilty. Or yeah. low-key guilty. Look at them. They're low-key guilty. Didn't Adnan Syed got out of jail, right? He did, I think, yeah. Remember they tried to do more seasons and it just wasn't the same thing at all? Oh, no. The they did one about the, the was it Bo Bergdahl? Bo Burnham? They did a I regret serial season this. about Bo Burnham and his, how he's inside. I regret even <laughs> Why are we even talking was about like, cereal? He's, he grew up over the pandemic. Isn't it weird? He has big man face now. <laughs> A young boy on- write a comedy song on YouTube. <laughs> I'm Sarah Koenig. <laughs> right, I'm Is he allowed right. to have white guilt? <laughs> Is it okay to make a song about being gay if you're straight? How do I wash my 16-year-old son? <laughs> <laughs> my 16-year-old son, Bo Burnham. <laughs> I'm deleting that sound. You'll never hear it again. <laughs> it's so good, though. Is this the Godzilla blast? That's enough. <laughs> in a way. In a way, it All is. Right, never mind. That was extra fun because I, you made Godzilla appear in my head. And then, <laughs> and then Godzilla said, that's enough. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. It's so loud. This is not a real Godzilla. You are driving. Not a real Godzilla. You are safe from Godzilla. Okay. Uh, anyway, if your 15-year-old daughter doesn't want to go to school, just film her and shame her. Just show show her a camera or a gun. Um, <laughs> Audrey says, another teacher, let her know you're turning off Wi-Fi, all internet, and cable when you leave. She will not have her phone all day, nor TV. She'll be bored and frustrated enough that she will undoubtedly want to go to school the next day. All these teachers are like, you got to take her phone. That's what I do. Terrible. I have a drawer. I put yeah. them in a drawer, and my students bring me an apple at the end of the day. And sometimes Here's there's a worm one. in it. See, this is the thing is someone says she may be having issues at school. So like talk to the teachers and it's like locked. Four of four plus. plus. Real answer. You must pay to find out what to <laughs> do with your daughter. Punish your child. <laughs> we're, we're all parents here. We're all parents here. And I just love my kids so much. I actually have two. I have a 16 year old boy with broken arms. <laughs> <laughs> you watch. And I have a girl who wants to do her makeup who's, and stay home. Screams. <laughs> I have a... Uh, child named black donald trump <laughs> <laughs> I named him that. you know there's a bit of you know kind of like uh suggesting his life go through a certain <laughs> path naming your child black donald trump yeah. uh, it's a beautiful name. i don't think it's right all right do the next one this is also a quarter plus one you're addicted to reading all the answers you're addicted sorry to all you're right addicted. i'm sorry Please. Uh, I just found out my grandson made a gun-friendly OnlyFans page. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> what should I ask him about it since he's only 19 and curious about his sexuality? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, you Pop should ask off. him about it. So he's 19. He's curious about his sexuality. He has a gun-themed OnlyFans page. <laughs> his grandmother has found it immediately. He cannot wash himself. <laughs> Which means I think he's promoting on Facebook. Yeah, that's true. Hey, I know you. a lot of you are looking at my pictures. Well, if you want to see a little bit more, uh, you can bring your heat over to my OnlyFans. <laughs> I would fucking love to know what this kid's <laughs> OnlyFans page is. I would want to see it. Is it? Okay, is it? All right, and this is going to upset some people. What? Is it the kind of sex video that does exist, and I do not promote it or have seen it, <laughs> but there are... Where so one person has a gun. Where one person has a gun sure. in it. Like the scene from The Sopranos. Like the scene, or it's really like a... With um, Janice. Oh, yeah. Janice. Yeah, right. like Janice. That's a great example. Yeah. We like, don't have to make it about porn. It can be about important television program, The Sopranos. I feel like it's also a... a fucking twi- scene in that now show, it's but... Cool. Yeah. It's also like a... I feel like it's in a few Twin Peaks uh, style films. Sure. Uh, David, whatever his name Lynch. is. David Lynch films. David Wayne. All the, you know what? In the 90s, it was all about taking a gun out and then getting it on. You know, there are a lot of weird scenes like that in movies where it's one person has a gun during sex. Sure. Why is it never like 
both of you have a gun, and you're just like double detention. You know what I mean? May I introduce like a heist you? Movie? May I introduce you to the film, Mister and Mrs. Smith? Oh, do they fuck with guns to each other's heads relentlessly? <laughs> That's awesome. That's I think they cool. put them down for like a second, but then they immediately sure. pick them back up because they're both spies, Jake. Mm, yeah. And it's Brad and Angie. Brangy. Mm. They bring the f- whole family in. Okay. <laughs> I stand corrected. Good for them. They bring the whole family in. Do, is it? I have a question. Yes, Jake. Do we know that it's a sexual OnlyFans? Because OnlyFans was, before it was like 90% porn, yeah. it was like, you That's can true. be a magician on here or whatever. Is he just showing off his guns on OnlyFans? That's well, possible. Friendly. It's gun friendly. It doesn't oh. say it's a gun OnlyFans. It's gun friendly. So it might it might not even include guns. It might just be like, hey, if you want to have a gun while you jack off to me, that's cool. You Can would we- jack off with a gun to the computer screen yeah. like Elvis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, like, like, done, like a modern like, Elvis. I'm done with this shit. <laughs> oh, baby. I'm going to bust. <laughs> 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 He's our a character, white regular man? Elvis. <laughs> uh, Another thing about my grandson. He's white. <laughs> <laughs> He's white. From the Elvis movie. I, the film I'm not Elvis. just saying that. He's what? He's what? It's a movie about white Obama. That movie rocks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, no one's going to vote for that man. You don't understand, Colonel whatever. He's white. He's half what? white. What? Take him around doing snow jobs. What? <laughs> he was a snowman in that movie. He's a snowman <laughs> who I does remember. his snow jobs. <laughs> uh, oh. All right, let's Hey, check things. out the Elvis movie. Not really Quora related. Um, I like that movie. Yeah. I couldn't make it through, man. It was too long. The Gun Club says, is he an ammo ammo sexual? I hate that. And that's answer. that's a bit of a gun pun. It's a bit of a gun joke. And then someone else says he might be ammo curious. They're just having some gun. Um are those not real things? <laughs> I will say the gun club also said another person from the gun club. This is posted in the gun club. Oh. I think. So someone else said at 19 he's an adult and can pretty well do what he wants. But what do guns but have to do, do with guns sexuality? What do guns have to do with it? Well, if he's ammo sexual. That's uh, and then there's people saying like really shitty jokes, and there's a guy putting there's a cartoon there's a cartoon of, of, of a gun in his Al- Alfred E. Newman putting there's a gun in his underwear. Alex, when you're editing this, that picture is in one of the comments, so it's going to take you a while to <laughs> is find that his it. Name Alfred? Yeah, Newman, his name is Alfred e. Magazine. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> no one has cleared up for me at all what is happening with this guy's OnlyFans. <laughs> Show us the OnlyFans. Oh, we haven't done an Omo f- OnlyFans curators. No. But you can't. Can you go on? I've never been on OnlyFans. You you have an account I made on a there. hand turkey account Alex where I do different OnlyFans. hand turkeys. Really? Yeah. When I was uh, promoting Theater of Delights, I was trying to get people onto my hand turkey OnlyFans. So I made it free, and I would do a different kind of hand turkey every day, and I'd be like, "Look at this little slut." So, and then uh, it was, you know, it was a big hand turkey. Did the issue with it? doing OnlyFans on here is that, like, isn't it all behind a paywall? Some of them are free. Yeah, you can make uh, a free some one. Some of them are free, but you're right; that is going to be a big obstacle there. Did you get us? Uh, this was the most expensive podcast premise on earth. We subscribe to a million OnlyFans for episode. <laughs> That's you- a business expense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. just reading the posts. I'm trying to see, see if they're funny. <laughs> End of the year when you do taxes, you're like, we spent like sixty thousand dollars on OnlyFans <laughs> for our small business. Did, but did, did you get followers for your hand turkey? Account? Yeah, I got a few followers. <laughs> It was a real who's who of who listens to my podcast and has a lot of OnlyFans subscriptions. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. People have been saying they want us to start an OnlyFans. People are horny for Alex. It's because my feet show up from time to time. People are just horny for Alex. They want my little piggies, and I keep them in the barn. (laughs) (laughs) Gross. (laughs) Right. You know what? I, I haven't been to my celebrity foot finder thing or whatever Kath was on. I don't. I don't know. If, I, mean, I don't I, know I, if I have one. But the problem is that you're a not a woman, and b we um we we pixelated them. Yeah. So they might not be on there, but people are begging for the. Uncut. I just don't think I've had a proper opsec about this until now. So I think they are around somewhere. It's true. Hey, they if you're listening, go find them. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to get this ball rolling, dude? 
<laughs> They're uh, out right now. Oh, yeah. No, no. Oh, no. Get away from them. Blow Those are the money makers. <laughs> Jake is trying to take a picture of my feet. Okay. Do we have any more? Or was that the last That's one? The that last that one. might have been the last one. All right. We should ask a question. I kind of thought that was a good one to end on because of... Um, uh, what, no, it's a great question. Uh, what if my grandson, he has sex with a gun? He's, he's, he basically has a Janus Soprano theme. We decided it's a Janus Soprano themed OnlyFans. That's yeah. got to be what it is. I don't know what else it could be. Unless it's just a gun collection, as Jake said. Only mags. Now, Mr. Jake, anything? we must... That's not anything. <laughs> we must end the show with a question, as we do every week. <laughs> what is your question for Quora.com? I forgot the one okay. from earlier. The one we had was about bathing a 16-year-old. Or the pumpkin. <laughs> We're not doing the pumpkin. <laughs> Why doesn't so, anyone want to talk about pumpkins? I think they're really interesting. The reason we get to the, like pumpkin the pumpkin one, one is because, although this is already going to have come out, by by the time of this episode's out or we'll have done is that this is the question we're going to have to read at our live show oh so it's so if we be... start the live show we go what if a pumpkin was bad <laughs> people will be like this sucks no it doesn't <laughs> suck though that's where it comes from opposite angles people will be like this is really good uh-huh. by the way thank you for coming to that live show oh we <laughs> yeah, had it was so, so much good. fun remember the pumpkin question <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, what a night we had! Blew my gourd. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, what was the sixteen-year-old? Has boy? there okay? What about um, uh, uh, um? It's is, frustrating. Is there for any people, way? Because they'll just be able to rewind. Child I, president. My, my angle is child president. I feel like what we have learned about coordinators' questions is that they have to start off in the mm-hmm. middle of like another sentence yeah, yeah, yeah. and be like, "Would you vote for Black Donald Trump?" Yeah, like there's some crazy premise already in action. Like if you, if Chinese people existed, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, something like that. Sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna say this week we're edging out of the racial category. Uh, I was you don't the do, first time. You don't want to do who would win between Jewish Hillary Clinton <laughs> and <laughs> I don't even know. It's a good question, but I think Muslim Donald Trump. It's it's the one it's the one that the uh the the head honchos don't want us to ask. Wow, that's so true. I'm trying I'm really stuck on the pumpkin still. <laughs> and so I'm having a hard time breaking out of there. Oh, um, would you subscribe? Sure. To okay. My. Are you gonna say pumpkin themed OnlyFans? I was gonna say pumpkin themed OnlyFans, <laughs> and I knew that wasn't hey, gonna This for is the a most one. difficult. T- it's like a pilgrim on a computer. He's like, <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are people sexually attracted to pilgrims? Why not? <laughs> Okay. There you go. That was a sentence. Put that in there, and that's what we're reading at the live Should show. Why are people not sexually attracted to pilgrims? Why aren't you sexually attracted to pilgrims? Jeremy, just figure it out. <laughs> in the meantime, I have to say, Mr. Jake, thank you for coming on the Quarators podcast. It's been a thrill quarring with you. Where can folks find your work and your art? Thank you, Alex. Uh, also, uh, thank you for having me on your show and letting me dance to your good theme song. Wise Britain to book Nibor. me a week before I am on your show. I will be on, what the fuck is it called again? Paid protest. <laughs> <laughs> I just blanked out for some reason. I made myself <laughs> nervous. I got to make the flyer for that today. Paid protest live at Silo. Silo yeah. in Bushwick. The TV show. The DSA Benefit stand-up comedy show. I'll be doing stand-up on next week on August 11th. August be careful 11th. if you go. They won't let you out. 8 p.m. They will let you out. Do not <laughs> listen to Jeremy. <laughs> He's just trying to get booked right now. He's acting a fool. I'm trying to get booked on the show. I, I want to be able to escape it. Jeremy Kaplafu is trying to get booked. <laughs> don't believe what they say about the silo. They don't let the piggies out the barn there. Okay, so yeah, that's a good plug. And, uh, good plug. And yeah, the live show already happened, so we don't have to plug it anymore. Nope. And so, hey, bark, bark to all the dogs out there. And to all the dogs, we got to say, what's up? I have more <laughs> plugs, though. Okay, Sorry. Please do them. We'll save that again. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> September 2nd at Ridgewood, uh, or at TVI in Ridgewood. 
Tech? I almost said Texas. September 2nd at <laughs> Ridgewood, at TVI at Ridgewood, Queens. I don't know why I can't talk right now. It's very early in the morning. This is a hard uh, plug segment to follow, <laughs> I gotta say. <laughs> it's very early at 1247 in the morning. <laughs> I'm going to redo my plug. September 2nd at TVI in Ridgewood, Queens. Me and Jamie Peck have a show called The Woke Mob. That's a crazy, live, weird comedy sketch. Sick thing show we're making come check it out and you can leave that one if you go to it you can it's you can leave both of them you're not stuck at any of these shows <laughs> they won't draw you back yeah! in with the eye okay do, uh, do you have any other events to, you'd like to book no i forgot how to talk so okay. i'm done all right jake is on the pod damn america podcast starring jake flores Oh yeah, right. special guest Andrews Lee. <laughs> uh, and that's Every gonna, week you ask him back, and that's gonna be it for all of us here at Quarators this week. And we gotta say, bark, bark. What's up to the dogs? Arf, arf. Woof.